from Indy's streaming news leader. This is a WRTV update. I'm WRTV's Mark Mullins with your latest headlines. This morning, state police are investigating a deadly fiery crash on I-65 in downtown Indianapolis. It happened on the northbound lanes of I-65 between Meridian and MLK around 1 o'clock this morning. Overnight, we learned a semi and two passenger cars were involved in this collision. State police say the truck and one of the cars caught fire. One person in one of the cars was killed. Carmel City leaders have announced a revolutionary drone first responder program. The unit could have a police drone arriving to the scene of a crime minutes before an officer on the ground is able to get there. The Carmel Police Department is one of just 25 departments from across the country using the new tech. Officers already tell us it's making their jobs safer. Today, the city of Carmel will recognize its veterans ahead of Monday's federal holiday. The city's Veterans Day ceremony will be held from noon to one at the Tarkington Theater. Student winners of the citywide essay and poster contest will also be recognized. This event is free and open to the public. Thousands of runners will hit the streets of downtown Indianapolis tomorrow morning for the monumental marathon. But before they lace up their shoes, they need to pick up the necessary items. Packet pickup will continue today from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. inside the Indiana Convention Center. Drivers should prepare for a number of street closures this weekend. We have a full list for you in this story at WRTV.com. Macy. Let's take a look at your forecast. I know we had a foggy and a chilly start early this morning, but through the afternoon, temperatures will warm through the 50s then 60s under mostly sunny skies. Things should be dry. Things should be easy going. High temperatures will make it to the low or the mid 60s all across central Indiana, which is above normal. Normal should be around 55. We'll continue to see temperatures in the 60s this weekend and not to worry. I know you see some rain chances. The good news though, as we quickly look through Truecast, we'll stay cloudy through a lot of the day Saturday and it's not until 10 or 11 p.m. that rain will move into the area. So plenty of time for your outdoor plans this weekend. Weekend. All right, Macy, thank you for more stories and weather you need to know. Just download the WRTV mobile app. I'm Mark Mullins. Thanks for joining us.